easy breezy, we're gonna still cover girls line, easy breezy beautiful um, beach makeup, then go ahead and stay tuned. I'm just gonna start by pulling my bangs back so they're out of my face. And you can do this however you please. I'm just gonna pin them back with a bobby pin. I'm not trying to look all fancy or anything. I'm um, gonna just tuck that behind my ear. So that's gonna roll. And then I'm gonna put this side and my face is clear. All right, so I'm gonna start with a primer. You don't have to start with a primer. I mean, you're going to the beach or the pool, so it's not that big of a deal. If you're like me, I don't like the ocean. So I'll go to the pool, like I'll put my feet in the water, but that's like as far as I, or maybe like up to my knees, but that's as far as I get. Like I don't put all this in the water because I'm terrified of the ocean. I'll go, if I'm going to like the pool, I'll go in like the pool, but I still don't even want to like get my hair wet. So I'm just going to apply one of my like cheaper primers because no, I feel like I'm wasting it if I put it on. So I'm just using the NYC Smooth Skin Primer. Um, I'm not really like a super total fan of it. I really like my Rimmel Perfecting Pro Primer that I put in my favorites. Um, but yeah, this this just works for now. I mean, just go on the beach anyway. So, and the only reason I would like honestly put makeup on for the beach is because it's spring break, and spring break means boys. <laughs> Let's get real here. So, um, I mean, I'm not like, but I'm not like putting pounds of makeup on. Like, I'm still like looking fresh, slash, just a little bit like done up. So, normally, if I would go to the beach with like my friends, I would not be putting on makeup because just wouldn't, because <laughs> um, I don't care. But um, spring break, boys, fun times, you know. So the next thing I would put on is a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream. I haven't quite found a BB cream that I like. Like I tried the Maybelline, or the, I'm sorry, the, yeah, Maybelline, Maybelline. Tried the Maybelline and it was really oily on me. Not a fan of that. Um, so I just kind of stick with tinted moisturizers. I have two that are my favorites. Um, this is the Sephora brand and it's the cream tinted moisturizer. And I'm in the color medium 28 camel. I thought that said caramel for a second. I thought I've been reading it wrong this entire time, but it's camel. I'm not crazy. And then the Ulta um, color instincts and I'm in the color light. Um, this might be a little bit too light for me now because I am kind of tan, guys. I went tanning the other day and kind of tan. Um, so this might be a little light, but I'm going to put a little bit of, I don't know, honestly, this might just be a little bit of light for me. I don't know. I have to look at it. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but I know this is like somewhere around my shade. So I'm going to use the Sephora one today. Um, and I'm just going, and it comes in a little pump, which is so nice. I love that. And... Just kidding, this might be a little dark. Holy crap. Was I really this tan again eventually in my life? Wow. Huh. And I'm just kind of dotting it all over. I'm not trying to get like perfection. And you can certainly blend this in your fingers. Um, I'm not because I like this brush to go with it, but I'm just gonna buff that in. Oh no, it's my shade, okay. And this smells so nice. It's like so light and amazing. And that and I'm just gonna buff that in, keep buffing that in. The coverage is not tremendous, so don't like, I'm not going for like full coverage over here. Cause in reality, probably just gonna sweat this all off anyway. I mean, it comes off eventually. Um, but, yeah. so at least it just like covered up like some of the redness on my cheeks. And like, I have really red cheeks, like I just, it's just the way it is. So, um, I know that like took away like some of the color on my cheeks. And then I do put concealer on and I do fill in my eyebrows because like I said, I don't go in the water. So this is not ever really ruined besides by sweat. Um, but my eyebrows never seem to come off like when I'm at the pool, even in the water. Like I've swam with my eyebrows that I do right now and they've never come off. So I'm kind of like, Alrighty. So, and I'm not gonna go full out. I'm just gonna kind of um, just fill them in just a little bit. I mean, they do frame your face. So when I'm not wearing sunglasses, I don't want to look like a sparse browsing by Benefit. And I'm in the color light, and it looks like this: wax on one side and powder on the other side. An angled brush because I like it better because this is like a normal human size brush, and then this, my friend, is like 
a doll brush, so can't can't do that. I can't even work with that. So I'm just going to use my own brush, and I'm just going to fill these in. Okay, so if this is like blowing. It's because my fan's on because it got like insanely hot in here and I was like in like a matter of minutes and I was like what the heck is happening right now. So, okay, so I just filled in my brows and I'm going to go ahead and take my concealer um, and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me New York in the color 20 Sand Stable. That looks like it. I'm just taking this on some of the blemishes like up here as you can tell and like down here where I don't know what the heck is happening to me but... You know, just taking that right there and right down here and right there and yeah, under here, under my nose. Um, just kind of just like placing it. I'm not like going. This is not full coverage, so I'm not going all out and around that. And I'm just taking this brush. This is my. What brush are you? Oh, <gasps> there's no words on this brush. What the heck? I know it's from Crown Brush because I got it on Hot Look, Hot Look, Hot Look, whatever you want to say. Um, but it's just like this little brush. It's like a really super thin, um, fine-haired brush, and I am just going to blend this in. for eyeshadow because like I said I don't um uh, go in the water eyeshadow tends to stay on me as long as I put a primer on so I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion which is looking like a hot disaster right now but um I'm just going to put that on my eyelids and crown brushes they call it a concealer brush I'm not calling it a concealer brush it's like just a flat um just a flat brush nothing too spectacular um, and then I'm going to take the color Sin, and I'm going to put that just all over my lid. This is just a nice pinky base color that goes good with just about everything. It's like one of those colors. Um, I'm not doing, I mean, I'm not like, seriously, I can do this makeup in like five minutes if I'm like not talking through it because it's so ridiculously simple. Just taking, um, huh, sorry, just to give that a little, like a little bit more, I'm just going to take the color Naked on an angled brush and I'm just going to throw that in my crease right there, voila, and same thing to the other eye. Voila. Done. And then just taking a super fluffy brush, just like that. This is the Sonia Kashuk one. I'm taking the color Virgin, which is right here in the very front, and it's just a light highlighting shade. I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to run that above my highlight and blending out Naked and Virgin together. Bam. You can highlight your inner corner if you want to. I mean, that's going above and beyond in about like a matter of minutes. Um, <laughs> done! I'm going to in powder right now and just set what I have. And this is the L'Oreal Translucent Powder with Vitamin C. Looks like that. And that's what the bottom looks like. And I cracked it, which in case anybody cares, there's like a crack in there. So, and then I'm just going to take that on a super big powdery ooh, um, fluffy brush, and this is the um, crown brush, my crown brush set, and I'm just taking that on a powder brush, and just setting my whatever this is. Look at that, look at that, like freaking magic right there. Bam! Girl, you look fabulous. And I do do eyeliner. I do do liquid eyeliner. I do do. <laughs> I 
I do liquid eyeliner because this I have come to find out that it never comes off. It doesn't come off unless I scrub it. So this mixed with a waterproof mascara is like godsend. So if this gets on camera, I'm gonna try. If not, do your liquid eyeliner however your little heart desires. Do my mascara in my car, which is probably a really bad thing to admit, but 17 years of dancing, going from like school to rehearsal, or school to like a show and having to be in like dress, or having to be in like warm up in like 45 minutes and you're like 30 minutes to get there, you learn how to do mascara in the car. So I pretty much perfected mascara in the car. <laughs> um, so I can do that in the car, but I will do it. Taking my favorite waterproof mascara, I'm just gonna do the Falsies Volume Express mascara. Um, I'm just going to apply this to my lashes and see what we can go. I'm not even curling my lashes. Why? Because, I mean, you can. I just don't. your lips um, you can add a lip color um, I don't I'm just going to personally add the chapstick lip shield 365 um, and it has 50 SPF in it which is what's up that's baller status right there because you don't want your lips getting burnt because spring break you never know who you'll be kissing girl um, but I'm just gonna throw that on top of my lips so that was it it was super simple not a lot of product um, it's super lightweight if you're gonna go to the beach um, so Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next video which is Spring Break Beach Hairstyles.